If you're wondering why the last video was so short and ended abruptly, it's because the software went nuts again. I have to get a shovel made. And so my software went cockamamie. Which has ha happened, but conveni conveniently enough... That's my controller. Conveniently enough, when I'm done recording, this, it got me again while I was still recording, so that's always a problem. Like that. Alright, you got your birdhouse. Let's see if I can make a net, and let's see if I can make a shovel. I can make a shovel. My God, that's a lot of hardwood. <laughs> I got a lot of hardwood. All right, anyway. I'm sorry, it's just so difficult in this day and age to not utilize these obvious references. Let's make a really good shovel that'll last me at least a few days. Okay, and what do I need? Why do I not have what it takes to make a net? Oh, it's a tree branch. All right, not a problem. Okay. At least I have a shovel. I, I think I can hold off on the net for a bit. So we're going to make this video a lot longer. So I finished one house. We're going to try to get the other house done. Do I have room? Hold on. I don't, really. I got to sell my... Oh, yeah, I got to... Damn it. Keep forgetting things. It sucks getting old. Alright, so this will go... And there you are. You're all set. Give me stuff! I gotta deposit that into my... Alright, so... See, the problem with this Joy-Con is not that it sticks like the other controller. The problem is that... The problem is that, we're going to try this out again, that it just kind of moves on its own. It's it's weird. I have to recalibrate them or something because I remember I noticed it when I, I think it was about a month after I first got my, my Switch, and I would be playing Breath of the Wild, and I'd go to the menu, and I would just see it flipping all over the place, and I'd be going, uh, what the hell's going on? There's a lot going with the going. I kept saying going in that one statement. So I would see it going through the entire menu of whatever I was looking at, saying to myself, Dad? He actually is awake at, more, at night. When you go there at night, he's awake. Blathers. Wide awake. Assess fossils. I'm wide awake! Still don't have expressions. Where are my people to give me expressions? Oh, nice. All about my culture, baby. I realize you can't donate things more than once. Ooh, Sabretooth. They said that Sabretooth's teeth were actually very brittle. Ah. Ah. 
Their, yeah, their fangs were actually overrated. They could break re rel relatively easily. The thing with the saber teeth, or saber, no, saber teeth, saber tooths, saber teeth, whatever. The thing with them was that they were so strong. Their upper bodies were so powerful that they can actually just body slam you and kill you that way. Because their fangs were really not helpful. Oh, hold on. See, like this, it's just doing it on its own. I don't. That's calibration problems. Excuse me. Okay, so the third one is up here. Come on. That's better. It's a tree branch. All right, I want to get rid of some of these. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This one, I have to go this way. And I have to also sell things first. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, no, I had it in my hand already. <laughs> so, yeah, saber tooth tiger. Yeah, the, their fangs would break with relative ease if they misused them. So, so they really had, like, powerful claws and upper bodies. And what the hell was that? Oh, shit, I need a net. I need a net bad. That's a new butterfly, and I might never see it again, and I don't have what it takes. You guys always come out when I don't have the materials. It's amazing to me. So, they would pounce on you and just body slam your ass. If they say 10,000 years ago, humanity's been around for over 12,000 years. I don't understand. Did we... Nah, I guess we did hang with them. No, no, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Try and talk to you because I want to sell stuff. Okay, I want to get rid of these flowers. This, that, this, that. And smoke some weed. I'm going to get rid of that too. Oh, yeah, you got it, man. So anyway, if you want to know how to get rich quick in this game, you have to go to Tarantula Island, which I don't think you can get to unless you're playing at night. And then, from there, you can just catch tarantulas all over the place. They're worth 80,000 bells per. So... Keep that in mind. 80,000 bells. Hey, those bells! I have to make a net, and then I have to make a better net. Nobody's jugs are bigger than a net. Thank you. Give me those bonus points, baby. I want to go to the bank. I want to go to the bank in real life, too. Loan payment. Pay from pockets. Full amount. Full amount. Still got a lot to go, man. Do you have anything I could have bought, but I couldn't buy? You know what I mean? No, right? Just the tickets? and eh, whatever. I don't have time for tickets right now. Now, let's make some nets. I'm sure that butterfly is long gone now. But if the butterfly is not long gone, then I could capture you. No, do it. Okay. I'm gonna try to recalibrate these things. And see if that makes any difference. I'm in the middle of some calibrations. So I have my net ready. Are you still flying around, Mr. Butterfly? No. I haven't even found a moth yet, but monsters usually come out at night, so... Hey, 
it's gone. <laughs> well, I kind of figured. I don't know when I'll ever see you again, Mr. Butterfly. Because no one suspects the butterfly. Let's see what we have to make for you. Now that I have room. What do we have? Interior. Wooden simple bed, wooden chair, classic pitcher. What, like a guy that throws off speed pitches and hits strikes on corners? Log, garden lounge, log, stool, water pump. Alright, so the interior, so log, garden, wooden, wooden, classic pitcher. Alright, so let's go like this. Wooden thing, wooden thing, classic pitcher. Wooden simple bed, wooden chest, right? I have the materials. Not all of them. Stop. And a simple pitcher. Classic pitcher, which is good. And also a water pump I have. That's good. Wait, let me double check that. Wooden chair. Okay, wooden chair. And the other one is log guard lounge log stool water pump. So it's this wooden. Oh, I got that easy. The interior stuff's not a problem, but where's the Log Garden Lounge is right there. That I should have. Log Stool, was it? It's the only other thing that's log. And... Yeah, I... Oh, yeah, I have the... Okay, so we're good. Really? You just want that log stool? Is that true? Yeah, is that true? Wow. Alright. Whatever makes you happy, pal. This definitely has to be a guy. So I probably don't really need to do anything. I probably could just craft all this. Let's get rid of all this excess crap. Bad weeds. Stop making a mess. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Like I said, we're going to make this one a little longer than usual, so... Don't you have, I don't know, bird nests or something coming out of that? So I can waste time doing this. You're an evergreen tree. You don't have anything better? No, I guess not. What am I looking for? Acorns or some shit? getting his tree branches. This is still a river, so... Rolling on the river! So, I'm probably just gonna get river crap. Yeah. yeah, I already have that one. Not much. 56. Yeah, the blue gill I can sell easily. That's And I mean that I could just go over and sell it. Say, hey, here's a blue gill. Enjoy. Let's get rid of these nasty, disgusting weeds, man. Shit drives me nuts. Can't stand looking at you, you fucking weeds. Now 
Now then. Let's go take care of business. Damn it, there's another one. Come here, you. I thought you can hide from me, you little bastard. I won't let that happen. So, let's pole vault over here. Those rocks kind of drive me nuts, too, but... Let's go to my home. I just see these things lying around, and I, I don't like it. I want a clean island. I want people to come to my island and say, Wow, that's a clean island. This dude's got obsessive compulsive disorder. And then leave. That's all I want. Well, should I craft something? I shall. Yes, I shall craft a lot of things. So, classic picture. Done. All right, here we go. I've got my Cy Young. I'm ready to go. Oh, my Christy Matthewson. Okay, next up. Well, he wants the he wants this. I'm saying he because I know that's a he. Freaking stupid ass Tom Nook decided to just bring guys here. Log Garden Lounge. Okay, so the. Exterior is not done yet. Wooden chair. Okay. And. Wooden simple bed. Guy's got a better bed than me. I should probably make that for myself. To get rid of this freaking cot. Okay. So the interior is done. Now all we have to do is make a pump. And we're good. Water pump. Alright. We are done, man. This guy is set. Yep, six items. Speaking of movies and stuff... I saw what culture say top... 10 dumbest decisions in movies, sort of turning them into plot holes, whatever. Once again, somebody mentioned the Eagles. Now, listen, I'm not one of these Lord of the Ring nut jobs that, I mean, I really don't care. The movies to me were a lot better than the books because the books were just boring as hell. But I get the references, I get the significance, I get all of that, I understand that, you know, the thing. I'm not trying to insult you if you're into Lord of the Rings and elves and dwarves and trolls and what have you. But. The thing about the books that they didn't explain really in the movies was that the Eagles were assholes. And most of the time the Eagles just sort of wouldn't help anybody out. It was it was kinda like if you The Witcher Three, remember The Witcher Three when I was playing through that that whole thing with those those eternal ancient vampire types? When some bed, when share close bed. Okay, so that's all set. Submit items. Some bed, one chair, classic picture. And just double check log garden lounge, log stool. Log garden lounge. Log stool. Bing. And a water pump. So the eagles would not actually help people out mostly. So this is all set. So let's take a look at the only lady that's moving in here. That was a grasshopper!
grow that? Uh, how about a bamboo tree right by my house? What do you think? So the eagles would not just they weren't a, a they weren't a no. They weren't an Uber for Middle Earth. They had preference and a lot of their preference was not to get involved. Most of the more substantial creatures just didn't want to get involved. It's a rock. It's fucking a rock. A stone. So <laughs> stupid. Well, I, I mean, again, that's a soft... That is a really so Like, for instance, wizards usually didn't get involved because they were super powerful creatures. And you'd say to yourself, sooner or later, a wizard would be like, dude, you're not going to stop me. You know, which was why what Sauron was doing was so unprecedented because he was sort of a wizard type and he was getting deeply involved and whatever. They were ancient immortal beings and shit. It wasn't just some guy that learned spells. It wasn't Doctor Strange. Yeah, the whole universe was just about a bunch of extremely unstoppable forces that simply didn't want to get involved. The Ents didn't want to get involved. The Eagles didn't want to get involved. The wizards typically didn't want to get involved, per se. That's the one thing that when I was reading the books, I was going, yo, Sa not Sauron, what am I talking about? Gandalf, you want to get involved, pal? Do something? Do something a little different? Well, in the Hobbit, he threw fireballs. Yeah, spectacular. Now, upon saying that, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the Hobbit trilogy wasn't all over the friggin' place in terms of it wanted to be serious, it wanted to be funny, it made dwarves into a joke. More so than Two Towers and Return of the King did. It also made you beg the question, why did they go these routes when you're talking about sort of prequels that had no connection originally to the Lord of the Rings other than the ring itself? And thusly, they had the whole thing where they were fighting Sauron and he was behind all this. And if they found out that the, the Dragone was there, then they would utilize smog for their means or whatever because dragons just like to sit in gold all day. Now that, that comes again from Norse mythology and the story of Fafnir. Now Fafnir was a dwarf that was so obsessed with gold that he became a dragon because according to Norse mythology dragons were giant scaly creatures that were the embodiment of greed. It was sort of like Pinocchio where you become a jackass because that's Italian. Summon the bitch up her becoming a donkey if you'll be a stupid ace. Uh, in, in Norse mythology, you become a dragon if you do something greedy, you know. So, a little bit over the top. Meanwhile, in Asian culture, dragons are beautiful serpentine beings that were the ancient gods that helped create all the universe and stuff like that. That is a grasshopper who's moving. Don't. Don't move. Don't. Fucking move, man. Don't. Don't move. Stay right there. Don't move. Go from flower to flower. Nobody's here. So yeah, when you read stuff about ancient dragons and shit in Japanese lore, you're talking about... Or ancient gods. You're talking about dragons. It's funny, too, because dragons could become human-like. They can look like humans. Gotcha! Yeah! Oh, it's a mantis. Damn it. Mantis so cool. I wanted a grasshopper. I already have a mantis. wonder how much a mantis goes for in this game. So anyway... I still have to go to the second house and officially complete it. So, yeah, so like I was saying, so 
in Japanese or Asian lore, dragons could could look like humans. And in Norse mythology, giants could become the size of gods, or which were about the size of neighborhoods and stuff. Like gods in terms of scope were they were hundreds of feet tall, like they were or tens of feet tall, according to what the original civilizations imagined. That a god was it, you know, for instance, if Thor got drunk and smashed his hammer on the floor, it would create a thunderstorm for the entire world to enjoy. You know, like that's that's the kind of scope you're talking about. And the giants were the size of planets more or less. But planets based on those ancient concepts of what planets were, which were, you know, where you lived more or less. Mountains and shit. It's one thing I gotta give Thor Ragnarok, man. They got the whole thing with Surtur right in the sense of that's what a giant would be. A giant would be that big. Now they got everything else wrong, but that's okay. Weren't there two dig spots? And I got both, right? No, no, did I? No, no. There's another mantis there. Was it a mantis that I saw before? Not a grasshopper and I'm just nuts? Man, I'm gonna get a lot of mantises. Or manti. Gotcha again. Yeah, meanwhile, if that were me in real life, I'd be like, eh! and I'd run away. Where's the build site? Yeah, they're both gone. Alright, cool. I got both. What did I get out of that? Okay, I'm running... Oh, two fossils. I'm running out of space here. I gotta sell some of this crap. Hey, you know what? I probably got that last achievement. Involving the weeds. So anyway. That's your mythology lesson for the day, folks. I'm capturing the mantises because I believe that they're valuable. And then we'll come back and we'll unearth those weeds. Alright, so let me go over here and let me just double check. Okay, so I don't have a celebration, it's just there. Right. Oh, that's right, I did that already. My fault. I'm, I'm like all over the place now, man. Crucian Carpa. Let's go sell this crap because I'm running out of space. Actually, I've run out of space. I'm done. Anyway, mythology is my thing. I, I love mythology. I try to read up on everything I can to get a better idea of it. I'm offering shit that you'll never, ever grasp. No, I'm gonna grow that. I wanna see if I can, if I can grow that. Alright, everything else looks good. I always gave people credit that did not get... Oh, God in heaven, are you serious? 6,000 for that? You gave me 10,000 for nothing. Oh my god, you kids, man. I can't take you kids. Yeah, whenever I used to see bugs, especially big ones, I would get so scared. I'm not gonna lie and be like, manly man, oh, I'm not scared. I, I get scared. Yeah, that's... Wow, a thousand of those. A thousand? Wow, man. That's freaking crazy. I have to get to 2,000. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get him. Gotcha. Nice. Peacock butterfly. That's <laughs> All righty. We are going back. Going back to the museum. So everyone's ready to move in. Now just be a matter of meeting the new neighbors. Speaking of neighbors, Paul, baby, are you, op you open for business yet? There's my love. All right, my sweetness. I tried to get you as many women as I could, but... Oh, you're building something. You're crafting. Hi, my baby. 
Nice. It'd be great if you can. I mean, they're animals, but how can they cut the power, man? They're animals. Imagine you can like get married and stuff in this game, have children. If it were, I mean, it goes from day to day, so you know, you could be like, oh, she's pregnant, she'll have a child tomorrow, you know. Just saying, it, it'd be pretty funny. We could build schools and shit. I know that it's supposed to be a little bit more kid friendly, but I'm just saying, you know. This is what I do I, I play a game and then I go, you know what they can improve on? Stop spinning. Hi, my Paula. You still haven't shown me expressions. Yep, still don't have them. Ba -da -ba -ba. My other character has them. I don't know why she has them and why this character doesn't. This character is the one that's talking to everybody. The other one I've only played as twice. They say after day three it should happen. Well, it's been day 12. <laughs> Uh, 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 so we have you and you. Got a lot done today, though. I have to admit. That's why sometimes it's good to get everything you don't want, because then you sometimes need those materials for later on anyway. Were both of them things that we've never had before? Okay, yep. Yep, they both were. Yeah, he actually says jolly good. You can hear it when he says that. He, he actually says jolly good. So let's take a look at how we've evolved our museum. I'm racking up the miles, man. Holy crap. Oh yeah, I didn't even look at my key ring, did I? Oh wait, hold on. Or key holder. These characters are so hilarious. Oh, oh, yeah, I can make that. I want to make him a bed, though. Not like I'm using it. Because I don't sleep, baby. That's me. When I do, I keep waking up anyway. That's complete. I still need that body there. T-Rex is back there. Still don't have a complete T-Rex. Oh yeah, let me take a look at my saber tooth tiger. Saber tooth. There you are. Skeletons make everything look scary. Skeletons are scary. Sabretooth Tiger was probably just some cuddly little thing with big teeth. It went like, meh, meh. You'd probably be hanging out in the wilderness of the ancient past. And you'd be hearing, meh, meh. Ah, the Sabretooths are back. Probably called them something like, Mutikadon, which meant cuddly little creatures. But we're over here, the Sabretooth would eat your soul and devour your children. They probably just rolled around this in the dirt going, meh. Who knows? There's my wasp. I still don't have a spider. I still don't have a thing. What about the... Okay, I want to see the peacock butterfly. You better not just be flying around. I don't know what's... Uh, there was a fish there. Oh, there you are. No. There's a regular butterfly. Honeybee. 
I finally see the mantis. Where are all my butterflies? April's getting an update for the creatures that you can capture. But I'm sure they'll still be the creatures that we have already. So that's good. All right, so everyone's got their houses built. I think I'm going to go to other islands next time and try to get more people here. Because I need some ladies, man. But again, I'm just going to get women. I'm not going to bring in any guys. Got enough guys like Bo Bridges over there. Holy mother. We've got a... You know, got a lot of fossils here, man. There's another one. Fossil just lying around. Imagine that if it were that... If the, imagine if it were that easy. You would just walk around and see an X in the ground and say, Oh yeah, let me get my shovel. And then you dig once and then fossil. Another black bass. Nintendo is the best gaming company. Oh! Nintendo is the best gaming company by far. If you want to buy a console that's more about playing Blu-rays and shit, that's your prerogative. But when it comes to video games, Nintendo is the best. And Switch is the best. So when they get it right, they get it right, man. When they get it wrong, you know, they screw up. But when they get it right, it's, it's spot on. Like this game. It's educational. It's enjoyable. Because you sit there and you wonder, why the hell do we have fossils and everything? Well, because maybe it gives you something to do, and after all, you get to learn about these creatures. And in honor of my beloved Paula, we're going to make a... We're going to make a key holder. I'm wondering if I have to recruit... If I have to recruit women again, and then... Because it doesn't seem like the two women that I recruited are moving in. There's one woman that's moving in, but not two. I don't think, unless she's really rustic. Keys I don't need. Oh yeah, I wanted to get rid of that bed and make a new one. Or that cot, or whatever. And I want to... Can I plant this? I want to see if I can plant this. Probably not going to work. All right, whatever. Let's get my newly crafted fishing rod. Hopefully you'll be different. So the plan with this game is we're going to do this for a while. I'm going to stream it on Sunday nights, though. I'm going to stream it on Sunday nights, nonetheless. Shit. Don't move. Don't move. Got 
Gotcha. Finally! Citrus longed horned beetle. Nice. Send that one to the museum. He's going to like that. Uh, I'm going to finish this up soon. I said longer, but I'm not doing this all day. Come on. Overall, that's what? It's about an hour. Which is what I give you. An hour every day. So yeah, we're going to do this for a while longer. We're going to see the changes in April. But then what I might do is I might come back periodically, like in the summer, in the winter, fall, yada, yada. And... <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of this thing before. Now we're good. Let's see where this guy's hanging out. So, yeah, like I was saying, we might periodically come back the change in seasons, months maybe. So I'm going to do this exclusively for a while. I think I want to... Tr there you are. I think I want to try to work on another project involving games released on the Switch on the It's on Switch Man channel. But I'm going to see. Because we have until the end of April for this before I go into the next project. And I kind of want to have some space between, space between one project and the other. Well, we accomplished a lot. Let me see how Rowan's doing. We got the houses ready. We have... Hey, are you looking better? I'm going to give you... Oh yeah, I have more. Damn it, I had fossils. I didn't even give them to him. Give me some peaches. It sounds like he said bookman. Uh, before I go, before you go, let me just donate those fossils. Or at least assess them before I donate them. Alright, so he seems okay. Is it that I'm too forceful with you guys? Is there a reason why you're not giving me expressions? Because expressions are cool. How do you fall asleep so quickly? Like you can do that, you can do you can clap. Nice. Were they both new or nope? Just one. The Diplo Tail. I mean, you did it already, but... 
Alrighty, so, so yeah, we're going to stop here, and when I return, uh, I think I'm going to go recruit some more people, and we'll see who just moved in, I'll see you, see, see, see you then.